Hey everyone, Sean here doing a quick unprogrammed video. Uh, I got an email this morning talking about uh, Windows 10 upgrade. So it's something that has been popping up and has become more and more famous, in fact, to the point of being infamous, that uh, you're getting the pop-up saying, free upgrade to Windows 10, please upgrade to Windows 10. We beg of you, upgrade to Windows 10. And there's a reason for it. There's a good reason for it, to be completely honest. Uh, it's a fantastic operating system. For those who are used to Windows 7 uh, or who have played with Windows 8, uh, Windows 10 is not Windows 8. Uh, Windows 8 wasn't even Windows Vista, especially Windows 8.1. I, I thought it was actually quite comfortable uh, as a great operating system, but it wasn't anywhere near as polished, and the whole start menu UI was, was a little uh, cumbersome for those who weren't on a touchscreen device, uh, tablet or laptop, something like that. But uh, Windows 10 is, is very different than that. Uh, I've really felt like Windows 10 is a very good marriage between what Windows 8 was trying to do and what Windows 7 has established over time. And one thing that Microsoft has going against them is their adoption. They have so many users. Um, it's well over a billion Windows users, or at least Windows installs, um, worldwide, which is huge. Uh, pushing a an update to uh, that number of people is uh, is a massive undertaking, and there's a very good reason to do it, and that's that people hold on to their operating system forever. Uh, I work in IT. Uh, getting systems upgraded is a financial uh, problem. You know, the cost of the upgrade is is, is usually uh, not an easy thing to swallow, especially on a large scale environment. Uh, for home home users, it's not such a big deal. It really isn't. But for business users, it is a big deal. You know, that $100 upgrade fee or that $150 or $200 upgrade fee spread across 50, 60, 5, 6, 700 thousands of computers, depending on the size of the uh, the, the business, uh, it can be huge. So pushing people towards this new platform, Windows 10, pushing people to upgrade for free. We're offering it for free until the end of this month, July 2016. Uh, you've got that, that availability to have a free upgrade. Many of you who are even on Windows Pro, you're going to see the same thing. Uh, it's just the Windows Enterprise users, um, specifically using the Windows the Windows 7 uh, Enterprise or Windows 8 Enterprise license. Uh, they don't have that available. But those who are, who are running Pro, those who are running Home, unless you have a piece of software that absolutely is not compatible with Windows 7, do the upgrade. Plain and simple. It's a great operating system, works really, really well. Uh, it will run on your Windows 7 hardware. Uh, there are a few situations where manufacturers have said they don't want to, uh, the, when you do the upgrade, there is a tool that basically will, will tell whether or not your system is capable of running Windows 10. That has very little to do with your hardware specs and more with the manufacturer of your drivers. Um, so some companies, um, I've, I've had this happen with Asus already a couple times, where they won't they won't allow it to happen because Asus hasn't released drivers for the core drivers for your, your laptop, your desktop uh, for Windows 10. And uh, that's laziness on the part of the manufacturer, has nothing to do with Windows. Uh, it, it absolutely has to do with the manufacturer saying, no, this is not a thing. Now, very old hardware, you may start getting that check as well. But if you've had a system anywhere within the last like seven, eight years or so, you should be fine in getting an upgrade to Windows 10. And honestly, I've seen it run great on old hardware. So anyway, just wanted to put that out there. Windows 10 is a fantastic upgrade. Take advantage of it this month if you can, because it's going to cost money after this. And don't be that person who just sits there on the old operating system forever, uh, especially when you can get the upgrade for free. It's well worth it. So uh, what we need are, are less, less systems in the enterprise, less systems in churches that are just collecting dust that are the same system you've had for, you know, for years and years and years running the oldest versions of software that you can possibly do. Uh, it's incredibly important to allocate budget where you can allocate budget to upgrade hardware. But in situations like this, if you're on Windows 7, you're on Windows 8, just do the upgrade, get it over with, and uh, enjoy moving forward. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions, want me to talk about something else, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.